Something's wrong. The city's on lockdown. Yeah, no shit. The job is fucked, Tyler. Tyler. Just follow my money. I have seen Extraction with Chris Helmsworth, and I'm gonna give y'all my spoiler-free rendition of this. But if you want a professional rendition of the movie before you watch it, go check out my our film critic, black Ooh. film critic, E-Man on his channel. He did a good job of breaking it down. So this movie, the best way I can describe it is taking Meeks Max Payne for my video gamers out there. <laughs> That's what it is. If you could take Max Payne and mix him with Taken, that's what this is. So Chris Helmsworth plays Tyler Reich, ex-military. He's got some issues. He's an alcoholic. He's taking pills. He's pill popping. And one of the drug lord's sons was kidnapped by another drug lord. And the drug lord that son, that son was kidnapped, he was in prison. And he was worried about what was going to happen to his son. So they brought in Chris Hemsworth as a mercenary to go get the sun. Now, where this movie shines, ladies and gentlemen, the action scenes were great. The word that we learned from E-Man Larry, cinematography, was great. Um, and the fight scenes was good. But the thing that I liked the most, and I was telling my wife when I was watching it, there was a car scene where it was like the camera was in the car with Chris Hemsworth and the kid. And that was like right on point. I felt like I was in one of those video games driving a car and I couldn't stay on the road. You'll love the car scene. Mm. Other than that, fellas, that's where it falls apart. The oh, story. Really? Oh, yeah, man. The, the, I mean, this is an action movie. Pure and simple. Pure and simple. This is an action movie. Chris Hemsworth delivers on the fights. As a matter of fact, you even got David Harbour from Stranger Things, he's in it. There's a lot of nose breaking. So if you don't like graphic breaks to the body, this might not be your movie. There's a lot of beating up and killing of children. So if you don't like that, this might not be your movie. But in terms of a narrative and a storyline, forget it, forget it. <laughs> Chris Helmsworth character is extremely one dimensional. There was no build, there was no connection really between him and the kid. Usually when you have these taken situations and a mercenary, there becomes somewhat of a bond and a love between the kid and the mercenary. Yeah, they had a little bit of it, but they didn't focus on it that much. So I didn't feel invested in their relationship, nor did I feel invested in Chris Hemsworth other than when he was fighting or driving a car on the wrong side of the road and making U-turns where you could have just bust a dag on right instead of doing a whole dag on U-turn. This ain't Dukes of Hazard. Overall, I give the movie a 6.5. It's decent for something that went straight to Netflix. If it was that had went to the movie theater, it would have probably got some really bad stars. But for the, the, the fight scenes, the action, I give it a six. Okay. Yeah. All right. 